what is up you guys happy summer welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello my name is Danielle you can subscribe down below I post videos almost every day so today I'm sitting down to do another video that a lot of you guys requested and that is going to be my summer bucket list slash a ton of things that you can do yourself over the summer it's so funny how you know before summer starts you're like oh my gosh this is gonna be the best summer ever I'm gonna do so much and then days go by and you're like I am so bored and your mom's like go do this and you're like I have nothing to do well, next time you think that, refer to this video because I'm guilty of that as well. And then I'm like, I totally have a summer bucket list somewhere and I could definitely find something easy to do for fun. So I have exactly 20 things on my bucket list. I didn't even realize it. I just counted it and I was like, wow, go me. <laughs> 20 things to do over summer. So this is a list that I made before I even knew I was going to make this video. It's just things that I wanted to do this summer, things that I wanted to achieve, just different things to do over the summer. How many times have I said that? The first thing on my list is pretty basic, but I want to go to more amusement parks, carnivals, all that fun stuff. Not only to ride the rides and just be in that atmosphere, it just kind of makes you feel like a kid again, whether you're going to Disney or Universal or Six Flags. Those are so much fun and those are like day long things to do. So those are great for when you have more time like in the summer. And it's also really fun to take cool like pictures in front of like roller coasters or Ferris wheels, super Instagrammable, I'll tell you that much. Next, I wanna take a weekend road trip. I do road trips a good amount of time because there's a lot of places to drive to in Florida. But it's a lot of fun, especially if you live in like North Carolina or Georgia, it's easy to take some road trips to a nice cabin or something, or like go camping or something of that sort. Just take a weekend road trip. I think that'd be fun. But make sure you're with people that you really like to enjoy their company with because otherwise that's not so fun. Outdoor concerts have a certain vibe about them. It's like such an amazing feeling whether you're going to a music festival or you're just going to see one artist, but just being among a ton of other people outside hopefully it's a beautiful day out it's so much fun and it's just got great energy i want to take more polaroids i have a white fuji film polaroid that i just recently got and i love polaroids i think they make great memories i just always forget to take my polaroid camera with me so make sure to take yours with you to the beach or whatever may have you because they're great memories and you can make a nice little photo wall at the end of the summer it rains a lot here in florida and it rains a lot in general at many places during the summer so next time it's raining outside and it's not lightning go outside run in the rain dance in the rain just have fun because it's actually a little bit of fun if you if you just decide to let go like go out in your clothes or put a bathing suit on and just have some fun for once be a kid again i get scared really easily of things i'm not a super adventurous person like i kind of am but there's to an extent like I don't always like to jump off bridges with my friends or like I don't always like to get my hair wet like I'm just kind of weird like that but then other times I'm like yes let's do it like I love to kayak I love to swim all that fun stuff but there's times when I'm just like oh I don't know if I want to do that like I don't really feel like doing that right now I need to stop that I need to do something that I'm scared of or not scared of but something that I'm like don't feel like doing or just when you want to say no say yes unless it's like something really scary then just don't my next thing was stop worrying about getting my hair wet because there's a lot of times that I'll get in the pool and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put my hair up. Like, I don't want to get my hair wet. Like, I just washed it. I just styled it. But then you end up having a little bit less fun in the pool because everyone else is going underwater and having fun and jumping around and you're like worried about getting your hair wet. And then usually like the bottom of your hair gets wet anyways and then you have to get it wet at the end of your pool time. So it's like I could have been having fun this whole time. I had to get my hair wet just now. Like I don't know how to explain it but like I just need to stop doing that to myself. Like take the L and wash your hair and let it dry naturally. Give your hair a break. Kind of going along the same lines, I want to wear less makeup and have no makeup days and I've actually already been doing this like ever since I finished Accutane my skin's just a lot clearer and I feel a lot more confident in my skin. Like today I didn't wear makeup all day and it's 9pm now and I finally put on makeup to film a video. But I mean a couple days ago I filmed a video without makeup on. Like I'm starting to feel a lot better in it. It just feels good to just let your skin breathe. So I want to do that more and more this summer. I used to thrift shop all the time in middle school and I had so much fun. My friend Lucy and I would go and we'd buy like all these high-waisted jeans and cut them into high-waisted shorts put pins on them like DIY them and it was so much fun so I really want to get into that again just for fun like not now that I need any more clothes but on a day that I have nothing to do and I'm feeling creative like go with a friend and you know say we're only gonna spend like $15 and see how much we can get with that and you know it's just kind of fun to just find cool things I want to start doing more good deeds whether it's big deeds little deeds like even just if I'm ordering at the Starbucks drive-thru to pay for the person behind me like it's the little things because then you're paying it forward because then that could happen to you in the future and it's good karma and it just feels good to do good for other people like nothing makes me happier than when i bring home a bouquet of flowers for my mom and she is so happy i want to watch the sunrise i've watched the sunrise once in my life in palm beach a couple months ago and it was so cool 
but I didn't really get to watch it that much because I was at a photo shoot so I had to go but I think it would be really cool to do like a sunrise yoga class or I know some places do like sunrise spin classes or just sit and experience the sunrise and just like feel the sun's glow start to come up. I, I think that'd be a really cool thing to do and then maybe that night go somewhere on the west coast where we can watch the sunset. You know, it's so Tumblr. I think it'd be really fun to go camping on the beach or just go camping in general. I've been camping once and it was a lot of fun. Again, that's something that you have to be with the right people for because it's, you know, it's rough. You gotta, you know, it's, you're in the wilderness, so you gotta make sure you're with people that you can have fun with and you can laugh about things. I love when I'm like out in nature, or like we're hiking or whatever it is, and something funny and just gross happens, or you're all struggling and you're all getting tired, but then you get to this like slap happy mode when it's just everything's funny and you're just like, what are we doing? Why are we so dirty? Like, but it's funny and it's fun, and if you're with people that you love, it's so much fun. I really want to build a blanket for it. When my brother and I were younger, every Thanksgiving, I remember this really weirdly, but we would always make a blanket for it on Thanksgiving while we're waiting for everything to be cooked. And we would just hang out in it. We'd build blankets, we'd put chairs to, oh, it was so much fun. And I really just want to do that again. I want to climb to a roof and watch the sunset. I think that'd be pretty dope, right? I want to learn to cook something new. I used to cook a lot more and ever since like a few years ago I've been traveling a lot more and I'm just busy all the time and I haven't had time to like really cook and I know I'm only 18 but like you know I'm gonna be living in college next year and I'm gonna have an apartment and all that stuff like I want to learn to cook more meals. I want to play with more animals with babies that sounds really weird but I'd love to start babysitting again or something just to be around youthful people whether it's babies or if it's puppies and just be around that happiness and the innocence of the youth. I think that'd be really good for the soul. I need to go to more yoga classes. I need to zen out. I need to start doing more breathing exercises because I get really anxious really easily and I really have no excuses because my mom's a yoga teacher so I need to go to more yoga classes. I would love to go more days without my phone. It's kind of hard when you do social media as a job. But a couple years ago for like four years in a row I went to sleepaway camp for two weeks and we weren't allowed to have our phones the whole time and I looked forward to those weeks the whole time because it was an excuse I was like I literally have to give up my phone all my friends knew where I was gonna be my friends and family could write me letters and it was such a great break and ever since I stopped going to camp like I miss it like I'm used to having that two weeks of the year where I don't have my phone so it's really weird so I want to like try and do that again not two weeks though I could never I want to go on more nature walks or hikes if I'm in Florida it's gonna be a nature walk because Florida is flat but if I'm somewhere where there's mountains I love mountains I'm not talking like Himalayas or Alps or anything of that sort but just a nice little incline would be nice and it's really fun lastly on my bucket list and it's something that I'm doing this summer which I'm so excited is I'm gonna go on a hot air balloon ride that's something I've wanted to do forever I think it's actually during the sunrise it's at like 5 a.m. or something crazy my mom and I are going to Napa Valley at the end of the summer it was my Mother's Day gift to her cuz I'm working with visit Napa Valley so I'm really excited about that and we're going on a hot air balloon ride so I'm so excited so that is it for my summer bucket list and things that you can do during the summer I hope this gave you a couple ideas so that the next time you're bored you're like oh my gosh that would be so much fun again comment down below your number one thing on your summer bucket list it would give me more ideas i love you guys so much thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon for my next video bye bye